Well, well, well. Hello YouTube, I hope you're all doing great. It's been a little while since we've spoken. Had a nice little break there from making videos on Battlefield 2042. But I'm back. Back with another live commentary gameplay in Contact the Nightbird. Point. There's been a couple of changes since we last spoke. Um, I guess we can get into it into in this video as we fly around and hopefully not get taken out at all. Basically, uh, what has happened? Nightbird's been nerfed. Uh, it's it's received quite a significant nerf, actually. It's, the nerf that it got was the minigun's damage. Oh my goodness. The minigun range, the minigun's damage at range, and the minigun damage in general, I believe. All of that got nerfed by a little bit. Um, it is quite noticeable sometimes, but the most part... Um, you know, the, before this update, the Nightbird was in the best place it had ever been when it comes to accuracy with the miniguns. It felt incredible, but they definitely toned it back a little bit from that point. It's still playable, and it, they're still pretty good, but you definitely, you know, in the hands of someone that's really good with the miniguns, you definitely notice it at these longer ranges. But another thing that's changed is the maneuverability of the Nightbird actually got nerfed a little bit. So, in that is the yaw speed, that's your left and right yaw movement speed. The, for me, it's A and D. So that, that got nerfed, it slowed down, it almost seems limited as well, like, like everyone is at the same speed across the board. I am not huge on that, that change. Uh, a lot of people complain that the maneuverability is too high in the Nightbird, but I think if you keep, if you keep reducing it anymore, the Nightbird won't be able to turn around. Like, you may as well just take the propeller off of it and what's slap that, it on the that? ground and pull it balance, you know? Like, we're, we're coming close to that point. It's obviously still playable right now. I had to relearn how to fly to, uh, to aim again and everything like that. So, it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely receiving nerves. Where, and, and it's not getting put in the patch notes, so a lot of people don't even realize it, it's getting these maneuverability nerves. It actually received one of these twice in a row. A lot of people don't know that. It, they've had they've done this yaw nerf twice now. Um, so I really hope they don't do it again. I mean, I've learned how to fly through this. There are moments where I feel like I wish I could My speed position. it up, but hey, let's uh, <laughs> let, let's calm down and you know, it it, it already takes quite a lot of uh, skill to be able to stay alive and perform in the night. But like just just today alone, I'll, I'll give a bit of context on it. Today alone, I've been playing for a couple of hours now, and I haven't hit a video that I deem worthy of me posting to you guys. I mean, my conversation keeps changing every single time, but um, when it comes to, like, hitting that flawless game, it just doesn't happen as much as people like to say it does. So, we need to get rid of this wildcat here. Spearhead is a terrible map for the Nightbird, because there's not much cover. And once you start getting targeted, there's almost nothing you can do. So, I'm just playing position game right now. It's a bit like chess. Nightbird's the queen. Oh, or actually more the, the king. I'm not good at chess, <laughs> if you can't tell. But, uh, yeah, you protect the king at all costs, right? Don't let anyone touch it. Don't let anyone near it. So, basically, what I've done here is I've made sure no enemies at all are getting behind me. I'm, cre I'm creating myself a safe space and then trying to peel forward. Trying to. I wanted to hit that wildcat there, but it just didn't happen. I'll see if I can long range this guy. Again, the miniguns have been. Oh, no, got him. Miniguns have been nerfed, so pulling that off is actually really hard to do now. So, I'm just making sure I take control of the rear there. I want to get this wildcat. He's right in my comfort zone there. This is where I want to be. And I, I want one of these guys to just shoot him with a, with a recoilless would be nice. I'll, I'll do it. I think that... Oh, I missed because I was getting hit. Yeah, I really, I really need someone on my team to just help me out, eh? Just, there we go. Someone's hit him once. That's what we needed. All right. Very nice. Now I can deal with him right here and he should be done. There we go. Great. Now we'll go into a reset. Hopefully no one jumps me up here. Get into a reset. Yeah, when he flinched me there, I was trying to recoil us. Missed the shot by a little bit, but that's okay. Now we can actually play. Let's go. 
All it needs is an infantry player to help me out sometimes, you know? I don't ask for much. Martin Just Daniel. one rocket will do. <laughs> one rocket. As you can see there, I'm running the cyber protection uh, because the repairs are essentially nullified now. Running repairs is pointless because small arms fire can stop your repairs. Um, but and Rao's been buffed. I was already running uh, cyber protection because I I thought it was the better. Uh, I deemed it so, and it, it was so much better to run cyber protection than repairs. But now with the extra changes, you know nerfs. Nerfs. Oh, I didn't press it. I didn't press it. And that's exactly what happens when you get hacked. Your nightbird gets slowed down. You get full disabled. You get painted. You remain painted. So now I'm full disabled and I'm flying like doo doo. So we'll just reset there. At least I got my cyber protection. So yeah, I run cyber protection to s stop that from happening. Otherwise, everyone in the map can lock Locking onto you, and you can't even see where they're locking you from. Um, it takes a little bit to practice to fly in a way to not take damage at all. Uh, you can see here that even without repairs, it's uh, possible to do so. You just gotta play play to your advantages. You utilize the cover that you do have. It looks like the server might be lagging out. I finally get a great game here and I think the server's about to start around. That is not my PC. We'll probably see some people in the game chat. This seems to happen a lot on portal servers. They're 40 meters away. I'm in portal right now. That's the only way we can play. Marking tango. Oh no. Hopefully, hopefully it just disappears immediately and we can finish out this video. No, it's lagging. Yeah, Dice's portal servers, man. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Get that guy real quick. Give me it's from my position. I'll play through it for a little bit here, but you can see it's stuttering all over the place. Okay, that's actually a that's good. It's gone now. That that big stutter right there uh, should be the end of it. Usually when that happens, it's gone for good. All right. So I, I apologize to anyone that just had a little bit of a mental seizure watching that, but uh, it should be gone now. That's fantastic. We can get back into the game. So that's Portal right now. Portal's in need of an update. 70 meters from you. Uh, sometimes it happens for a whole game or a couple of matches in a row. And it's not exclusive to OCE servers either. It'll happen in like NA and Asia servers when I play there as well. Tango. 110 and it's across meters. the board, which is crazy. Everyone in the whole lobby starts lagging. All right. We're looking real good right now. This is pretty much how Spearhead is played in the Nightbird. There's literally no cover in the game whatsoever. And the, the range of the stingers and everything can really shut you down. Um, my team has pushed up here, so I do have some pr pretty decent cover on this mountain. About 90 meters from it. So uh, I've actually got a bit of a lucky game right here. I couldn't hit that guy. Enemy fire team. I, I do actually have a good game right now when it comes to uh, team positioning. That guy there, there's no chance. I'm just gonna hide right here. Use my team. Multiple tango buffer. Mark. You're 90 meters away. Put them in front of me. Shoot what I can. Designated. Painted up. I see multiple hostiles. That's what's happening here. Is I'm doing a, a risky run with my flares. There's gonna be lock-ons coming now. There's the designation. But I got out. This is a, yeah, you, you, this is a perfect example of how powerful the so flame is. Even though I'm behind this gigantic cube, uh, I'm still painted and I could be locked on through walls. I think it's incredibly overpowered. I shouldn't be allowed to see through walls. They shouldn't be allowed to see through walls. It, it, the binoculars should be held on, in my opinion. The, the binoculars should keep a lock by staring at it. If the vehicle gets behind cover, I think it should drop. Uh, I, I think it's insane that... Um, people complain about the so flame not good enough when you only need to look at a vehicle for like two seconds and it stays painted for, for quite a while. 170 meters. Now this is I'm seeing javelins here. What are we doing? What I'm doing now is hard pushing away because I know they're p painting me. If I get javelined and try and get behind this cube. You guessed it, there is no air cover. So javelins can lock on, and as, as long as he shoots it, it will go way up and over the top of this. So, uh, 
now I need to start playing as as long as I see that designation I need to make sure I'm behind cover before any locks are shot sometimes you can time it so uh, you know the lock gets shot okay, I'm designated there so right now we have to full peel as fast as possible so a lock can't get off that's just how it is it, it's I, yeah otherwise you'll get one shot at top down there's nothing you can do about it okay this guy I'm hoping he jumped out Yep, he did. So right here, this is like, people argue like, oh, you know, it's a Nightbird's OP, unkillable and everything like that. But this situ that situation that I just talked about isn't overpowered. It's just, you know, I'm forced to stop playing the game completely. I need to hide completely because of uh, a two-man combo. Um, it's an incredibly powerful tool to use and it, and it works against everything, right? I mean, it makes sense. Um, I'm just playing, I'm just trying to play incredibly smart here. I don't mind if I don't get a lot of kills. I'm just trying to survive the whole game. I'm at 53, so we're looking pretty good. My team's actually really good. Gotta respect the team there. They, they enable a Nightbird. When your team's performing, that's how you can perform. Okay. I, I don't think this is the greatest spot to be anymore though. back here there's constant rail hacks designations lock-ons so we just got to wait it out here oh by the way type in the comment section what you think of my color scheme here we got the pink and blue and green you know I thought I'd mix it up I, I actually you probably noticed with my frame rate in the top left I recently just had my PC optimized by um, a member of the battlefield community he does he does optimizations. He took stronger. over my PC. We got a new CPU and uh, yeah, he juiced up my PC to maximize the amount of frames I can get. Which is, uh, it's made the game so incredibly smooth and so much easier to play. No more stutters and everything like that. Well, let's peel back this way. This really is all I can do. Like, this is as good as it gets. I know it might be a little boring. Some of you are probably getting a little bored, but oh, I, I'm not even joking. This is it. This is, this is, uh, oh no, this could be bad. Oh no, we're good. This is spearhead nightbird gameplay. All right, we'll come back this way. We've got some, got some enemies here. We don't want them really flanking up behind us and having no cover. So now I'm gonna prioritize this area. Looking at the mini map, just looking for enemies. Little robot right there, little robot body. I'll take it. Um, I'll even like, I'll even go, oh. Watch that hostile. Just 70 meters away. Oh, it looks like they're taking E1 in there. There's not much I can do. As you can see there, the tank in the game chat, that's the guy that was in that tank shooting at me on my team. He's being so flamed, like, so flamed is so powerful. You can literally paint everything on the field by yourself and then the whole team can lock onto it. You can paint it all at once. It's incredibly powerful. And, and people can lock onto it through walls and stuff. They've actually incredibly, like, really overtuned so flim. There are ways to counter it, obviously, you're watching me, so... I'm not, I'm not nervous to tell people, you know, so flim's strong. Because now there's a little, like indicator let you know you're designated to you know play around it but it, it really is strong like same with row click of a button it's effortless you're not doing anything other than just staring at something and you're getting a whole lot of reward for it but uh yeah i mean it doesn't confirm your kills though if the the player you're trying to target is good Tango spotted 70 meters from you there we go i'm gonna peel out just in case of a javelini E1, I'm, I'm aware that they're going to be starting to spawn at E1 and everything like that back behind me. E2. They've actually got C2 here as well. So now I need to start making sure where these lock-ons are coming from. And don't let them uh, get a jump on me. So what I'm going to do is utilize the top of this up here. Just paying attention to the minimap. I can see a lot of my team are pushing onto C2. 
Uh, we're also taking E1 over there, so it looks like my team has good dominance still. They're cleaning up behind, which means I can push back out. <laughs> a lot of rockets right there. I am full peeling now. See if we can get that guy on the way through. Very nice. I got away before any javelins got shot, but as you can see, lock shot through the wall there. That's incredibly balanced. This guy's been rail hacked, so I'm going to actually hit him with some AGMs. Wait, he fled that? That doesn't make sense. Marking tango. It was rail hacked. Can't flare a rail hack. I don't know how that guy was not getting shot at. Found a tango. Okay. Multiple hostiles marked. 70 meters from here. Marking tango. Alright, let's see Andrew Tate right there. He did a bit of pilot damage to me, so I need to respect that. That he's going to be locking that area down. I might even peel around the other side now, like go out that way. Problem is there's literally no cover over there. Like nothing at all. If you run this way, see that? Immediately locked onto by a back of the map wildcat. You're pretty much forced to just like kind of play here. My team's pushed up in there. That's exactly what I need to perform. That's actually incredible that they've done that. My team's really good this game, actually. This guy in the tank's doing incredibly well, staying alive against the wads. Let's see if this is the row that's been... We get rid of him first. We might be able to stay here for a little while. What about... Someone just had a snipe at me. Need to prioritize that and apply pressure. If he hits that snipe... Okay, that guy got away. Very nice. Good play, that guy on the stinger. He did exactly what he should do. Instead of standing out in the open, he utilized his cover, so... Good job. And yep, right back here behind the cube, there's literally nothing I can do at the moment. So we just wait it out and get our flares. What do we got up here? Here comes Elizabeth, so I'm going to prioritize the Elizabeth. Here. Nothing else matters. Where this guy? That wildcat is uh, doing literally nothing for his team at all by sitting at the back of the map there. I don't know, maybe my team has forced that. Gotta assume my team's doing a lot of the hard carrying right now. I'm sort of just flying in and out of all of it. This guy here's having a go. Nice, my team sorted him. So usually like when I'm playing, I'll, I'll like play around and dodge wildcat missiles and everything like that, but... I don't actually want to risk it this game. I actually want to post on YouTube for you guys. I spent like a couple of hours not hitting the, the perfect lobbies. So, Andrew Tate gun right there. It's protected him beautifully. Enemy spotted. Distance 130 meters. As you can see, that, that those miniguns right there, that's the nerf I was talking about. This range is definitely like... Very hard to uh, achieve your kills on now. You're sort of just spraying down and waiting for them to, like, the bullets to just connect. We're at 90 and 0 here. We've got an incredible game. A bit boring, but away. hey. Contact Big shots right here. Oh, couldn't get him. Found the tango. I'm just playing very slow, very safe. And the kills are just coming to me. All right. Now, C2's been taken. Which means I could get, I could have threats from all over me here. So I need to peel back now. I need to make sure I have a safe space to fly. See, as you can see, they're coming out of here. And this is actually good for me. I want them to have C2. This is exactly what I want. I prefer to fight here than in their spawn. But there's no cover. So, as they spawn out here, I'm just going to keep killing them. Looks like the enemy have pushed up onto this flag again. So we'll peel back here. Have a look what's going on. Wow, I should have actually committed to that. <laughs> My team's pushing into C2, so I'm aware that the enemy are going to be running out or spawning outside. Once your teammate really start touching it and getting on there, the enemy spawns like 100 meters away from the point. Like, you just seen this guy appear? Terrible spawn points. Definitely not a Nightbird problem. Uh, you know, it's not the fault of the Nightbird. The spawn points 
I just... They're not, they don't take into consideration everything. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny though. Okay, I'm gonna prioritize Mr. Tate right here. There you go. I'm just trying to like, exist without existing. Okay, I'm peeling back to safety. Just like before. So I hope like people can, obviously games don't always play out like this. My team is just like really push forward. Beautiful, beautiful aggression by this game player guy here in the tank. Um, you know, I haven't had any aircraft on my head. The team have sort of left me alone a little bit when they realize they can't get me. Um, but that's just my positioning and like... Enemy spotted! Game sense and everything like that taking control. Hostile spotted! Um, Spearhead's definitely one of the... Oh, 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 oh. Spearhead's definitely one of the hardest maps to, to do this on, so... I think the only reason I pulled it off was because of my team, so... But uh, you get the idea, uh, when you flare, you want to be getting a kill on your way out, but you definitely want to be making sure nothing can touch you. So run that side for protection. Don't let anyone get a jump on you. Make sure you keep your back clear. I see I'm paying attention, there's a wildcat in the distance over there. A couple of guys pushing up here. I'm just Q-spotting with my mouse. And just, it's not ideal to get these long range kills, but it's it's the safest strat. And right there, we just hit 109 and 0 in probably one of the worst Nightbird games. Um, that was that was an incredible one. GG's to my team right there. Um, especially that dude in the tank. It's very hard to survive in the tank. Whoever that guy is, that that's actually very impressive. And I would I would love to play with you again, buddy. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. It was I think I rambled on a little bit. I can't even remember what I talked about. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, learn something from that and get an understanding of what my thought process is while I'm you know flying around maps that don't have a lot of cover and why I'm using certain covers or leaving at certain times and everything like that. Um, yeah. Go ahead and uh, leave comments below how you feel about it, how you feel about my long range, the nerfs of the, the miniguns and the your speed and everything like that. Tell me if you think it needs to be nerfed more, if you think it's uh, already hard enough to fly. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you everyone.